Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Sentinel Primac, and today I got a new order. It's been a while since I made a video, and it says VQ4 white pillow version. So, pretty. It took uh, a whole week, ordered on Sunday, and it came today on Friday from Sarah's Toy Store um, from Amazon. Uh, if you try and search it up from Amazon, they don't show it up, but I'll put a link in the description to it. It's 25 bucks and free shipping. So, if you convert that from euros, they sell it for 19.99 euros, and it's around 25. So, it's the same exact deal, but free shipping. So, let's get it open. V cube for white multicolor and for V cube four. So first thing is box is pretty beat up, as you can see from the shipping. It's not that nice of shipping, and it's kind of opened. But, yeah, so, it's a VQ4, and let's get it open. There's a piece of tape here. I'm hoping that there's no missing pieces in here, and it, it comes with a little pamphlet, so it says VQ, and it's like all messed up. Well, that's a lot of reading in different languages, so it says the 4x4 version of the VQ family, available. In two variations, the classic flat shape and essential, essential pillow, which has not come out yet. And that's their new lineup. It says, do not discard this packaging as it is useful as a Stanford cube. It's like all crap, so I don't know how that's a stand. That's the inventor of Veritas himself. And a few pictures of the V cubes, the V cube four in the flat shape. So I always had a crap V cube. I mean, uh, four by four. It's the Rubik's version that can barely turn and always locks up. And I don't think you can corner it like that. That's because of the plastic pieces inside are always locking up each other with the. Um, with the inner mechanism, the sphere. So that was really crappy. And it looks pretty nice, gotta say. The stickers are pretty high quality. So, yeah. Let's give it a first turn. It's pretty smooth. It, the cube is a bit loose, like you, you can see, it's a bit wiggly. And the corner cutting, pretty fair distance. Let's try, f it won't go 45, let's try like 30. Yeah, it's fine at 30. And reverse. I don't think you can do reverse. Yeah, no reverse, no reverse cutting. Not much. But still a pretty good cube compared to the Rubik's 4x4 and yeah it's pretty good corner cutting except reverse it's pretty standard and it's really smooth like yeah, any layers so it changes pretty fast you can 
You can change the names. And it doesn't lock up. That's a good thing. Let's try to take it out. I don't know how to take this out, so. There we go. See, so has the edge piece that's really wide at the side. Let's see if we can get a V cube 5 piece. You can see how much wider the pieces are. Uh, this is just the first impression. I'll make a actual review later on. So stay tuned for that. And there's like, let's take a look at this. It's like a piece of plastic. Uh, I don't think they put any lubricant. I don't have any lubricant myself. And you can see that mechanism from me, myself, and Pi. Yeah, so I'll be reviewing this later on, and I hope you enjoy. It's pretty hard to get it, get it in. Let's try turning it sideways. And I'm gonna give this this guy a few solves and get back to you. So, thanks for watching.